Okay, so here we go. Actually, here's here's the slide I was gonna talk to you guys. I wanna give you guys a real example of alpha seeds beta needs in a sense. Because I'm 31 years old. In fact, I don't know if and if you guys are comfortable with it, you know, shout, shout out your age in the um, chat. I just like to know, you know, where everyone's at in different stages. So I'm 31 right now. And since I typically, you know, say the wall is around 30 years old, because of that, I grew up with a lot of women that are now hitting the wall. Or I went to school with a lot of them. I dated a lot of them or hung out. I guess I should say not dated like boyfriend, girlfriend, but hung out with a lot of them. Uh, so I'm seeing real life examples of this all the time now. The women around 30, they're starting to go, oh crap, and then they're latching on to Betamon. So every year I go to Minnesota, and uh, my mother had seven sisters and two brothers, and basically everyone in her family, like they all except one have kids of their own, lots of kids, some of them have grandkids. We all go to the same spot in Minnesota every single year. It's been going on for 50 something years. I'm 31. I have been there every single day of my life. I missed one day because I was at a wedding in Minnesota. That was the only day I missed. Other than that, I go 14 days every single year. Uh, again, this is how close-knit my family is. This is why I was in the bubble so long about the dangers of the court system and divorce and all that stuff. I see, okay, I see different guys here. 28, 38, 32, 55, 19, 42. I love this, guys. What a mix. What a mix from different ages. Can learn a lot from all different ages. So I go there every year, and this is a tiny town, super tiny town, so tiny that, um, I mean, just so tiny. And so what would happen is, is, is I got better at gaming women, <laughs> as I got really better at that. Um, so in my like 20s, basically, my young 20s, what would happen is I would go to this small town and literally the most attractive girl that I'd seen in town, at least the most attractive single women, would work at a golf course that we'd all go to. I love golfing. I'm a big golfer. And she would be the beverage cart girl. So all everyone in my family knows this about me. They're like, oh, which cart girl is going to be your girlfriend this, you know, this trip? So the beverage cart girls, you guys know some of the beverage cart girls are pretty cute. Well, in a tiny town, and I like you don't see anything. And then these beverage cart girls is like, oh, sweet. So three different beverage cart girls from my young 20s, like three different like I would, they'd be like my little fling for two weeks. I'd hang out with them like later at night, you know, do our thing, um, all that stuff. Then when I'd be golfing the next day, they would pour me these awesome, really, you know, really strong drinks, get my money's worth and all that stuff. Uh, they would drive me around in their beverage cart and stuff, take, you know, fun little perks. But uh, so again, I'm at this tiny town and I see this girl, we're, we're, uh, we're doing a family golf tournament and I see this uh we're, we're doing a putt off because there's a tie like a putt off at one of the i don't know if you guys golf but there's like a, a putting green or whatever so we're doing a putt off with my family and again there are no attractive women in this town besides maybe the beverage cart girls that i see tiny town and all of a sudden my eyes again this is when i was in like my most every time i saw a pretty girl it like registered on my radar i see this blonde hair like walking from far away and i'm like oh my goodness she looks cute there's no i've never seen a local look like this this blonde hair she's wearing this little fedora she's all dressed all cute not like a golfer you can tell she's not a golfer and so after our golf tournament we go out with my cousins and play some more we just love to golf and i was like oh dude if i see this girl i'm definitely gonna go approach her and i'm gonna go talk to her because i've never seen a sexy woman in this town and so I ended up seeing this girl, she's golfing, all cute golfing with, you know, not knowing how to golf with her friend and then both their moms. And like I get out my, I have to park my golf cart. My cousin's about ready to tee off. My cousin, scared of women at this, very scared of women. He goes, what are you doing? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because he sees this look in my eye. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go talk to him. And he stops, he freezes because he's like, oh my gosh, I've never, he was terrified, right? So I just walk across, you know, like whatever. I see these girls on the green. I walk up, introduce myself. I'm like, hey, what are you guys doing around here? What's fun around here? I end up finding out that this, this really attractive girl has a lake cabin on this lake that we always go to. And it happens to be a few minutes from this family vacation I go to every single year. And again, there are no attractive women in this entire town. It's like a very rural, small town and all that stuff. So I flirted up with her, whatever. Anyway, this girl, when I, I think that was when I was like 23 years old. 
that girl from 23 years old all the way up until this past year, every single year when I would come to my family gathering, she would figure out when I'm going to be there. She would come up to her lake cabin um, and then she would like stay for the weekend there. And then, you know, I would hang out with my family, whatever. And then like really late at night, I would go over to her place and do our fun, um, you know, whenever it was convenient. So she and then she would fly down here to see me sometimes and she sent me this text and this was like an example of because i just never give in with women never give in i never give in with men this, this is the type of chat and tire own mindset you can have even if you're not six foot five i'm not six foot five and all muscular guys but you can have this mindset so she sent me this text it like it sums up a lot of what she's she would always ask me she gave me so many ultimatums you need to be my boyfriend, all this stuff. Like I was not going to do long distance. I wasn't going to settle down either way. And she said that you're the bad boy in my story, like the one I can't tame. Okay. So that's an example again of like, she would always stay interested every single year we would hang out for whatever years. But this girl is wild. When I mean this girl is wild, I mean, she worked a corporate job. You know, um, the typical girl that is like working a high paying job. She made a lot of money very high taste, very expensive taste, which I never bought her anything except for she picked me up from the airport once. So I bought her Starbucks and I bought her a breakfast sandwich the next morning when she drove me to my family reunion, like an hour and a half away. So, but she has very expensive taste, right? So she was on the CC all of these years, or she would have boyfriends that she wouldn't tell me about. And then when I would come to town, she just wouldn't mention them and we'd still hang out and do our thing. So anyway, she just hit 30 years old, just hit 30 this past year. This was the first year that she did not, we did not hang out when I went to um, my Minnesota. And so I was like, oh, I know what happened here. I bet you because she's aging, right? She was aging and she was a wild animal, wild, wild animal. Uh, that I was like, oh, I bet you she found a beta mon. And so Turns out that she had been in a relationship for a couple months before I came there this year. And I was just like, totally cool. I really do wish her the best. I hope they have a good relationship. However, I just saw on her story a couple days ago, she posted a story on Facebook and I saw this. I was like, oh, it's totally, because I don't like to judge people, guys. Like I don't try to judge people, I'll say this, but I can tell from pictures I can like if, if you if any guy sent me pictures right now of you and a woman, I could go, oh, I could say she wears the pants or he does like I can tell in engagement photos, I can tell all that stuff. It's just it's just one of those things about reading people. Some of you guys are probably really good at reading people, and then when you're around this so long, I from a picture, I can be like, Oh, she runs a relationship, I can tell a story about it. Same with if a guy sent me a text screenshot, it's really fun for me to just analyze because I can just basically go through what what's all going on in the whole situation just by reading you know, a few screenshots of text or I've seen a picture. So I saw a couple pictures she posted of her and this guy. And again, this girl, sexy, blonde, makes good money, all that stuff. She was always like testing me to the point where, um, if I, I mean, if I was in high school, I would have no chance with her. Like when I was beta mon, no, she would have eaten me alive. We would not have hung out for more than one time. Would have eaten me alive. So I see this guy and I see these pictures with her and I'm like, oh, poor guy, like totally. I could just tell she run the relationship, she owns him. And I just saw this guys and I just thought, what a perfect example. <laughs> so she just posted this a couple days ago. I had to screenshot it from her story. I got it blocked it out, of course. <laughs> She's got a Louis Vuitton and this was one of a couple things in her story, but I didn't want to go through and like have her see that I like looked at all of her stories and all that stuff. Like I do wish her the best early b-day present from the best bf ever he's got her this louis vuitton box and bag and again when i saw the pictures i was 99 percent sure she found her beta mon and then i see this and i'm like oh crap they've been dating for less than a year he's already getting a louis vuitton whatever's inside here uh for her early birthday present probably going to take her out do a bunch of other nice stuff for her on her birthday and that's where he's setting the bar to where, okay, when he decides to, excuse me, when he decides to propose, what's he going to do for that? The one year anniversary, all of this stuff, right? He's setting himself up for a disaster. 
but I'm seeing this in real life play out and this this stuff is and do, I, I truly hope I truly wish them the best but I just know she's gonna eat him alive I just know her she, she will eat him alive it's gonna be sad to see hopefully he doesn't commit fully but you know we'll see what happens but I see this so often now with women that in their 20s, mid 20s, um, late 20s, were just wildcats. And when I say wildcats, some of the craziest stuff. And then I see them now, and I see their posts. Oh, this guy's the greatest guy, my husband. I love him dearly. And I see from the pictures, and I just go, Oh, God, she's going to. He has no idea. He probably thinks she's a little angel. He probably thinks she's one of these women that, you know, I'm not into games. I never have been, so I haven't been dating around. I've just been focusing on myself, right? These guys think that these women are angels, and these women will tear them apart. Uh, it's going to be sad to see, but I mean, it's a real-life story that keeps happening over and over again, man. So, hey, rest in peace to our fellow Betamon that hopefully someday will join us. And see the truth for what it is. This Louis Vuitton, this is going to be the one of many gifts that he gets her, man. One of many gifts. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, I had to come in here uh, as I was editing this video. And I had to put this in here because as of recently, when I filmed this video, uh, or when I did this live stream a couple weeks ago, I showed you about the this, this girl that I'd known for a long time. She got this Louis Vuitton and some other presents. Uh, for her birthday from this guy that she had been dating for less than a year. Well, Valentine's Day just happened recently, and guess what? I just saw a picture uh, that, uh, you know, she had the engagement photo, so he just proposed to her. She's got a nice, big, shiny ring on now. Um, so this could be the beginning of the end for uh, for our guy out there that got sucked in to the trap of the Alpha Seeds and Betamon needs. So I just thought that was kind of fun to let you guys know that, yeah, it's official. She uh, she has now got a ring out of this guy, this poor guy. Um, again, I wish them both nothing but the best, but I just, I know too much. I know too much about her. It's going to be game over, man. It's going to be game over. Don't forget. Subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe.